All right, I'm gonna try to get this video done again. I found something that's pretty unique to getting this uh, pit started. You don't need a torch or anything like that. You just need a strike, a fire, and they work pretty good. They have the little pin on it. It took a minute to get it lit the first time, but uh, today is Memorial Day, so I would like to recognize all those who have served and given everything and those that gave uh, some. But we definitely recognize our members of, in the service. Um, all right. Uh, so let's get this started. What I did, I don't have it totally full. Uh, I still had charcoal left from the last burn. I had filled it up on that, I think I did the brisket last. Uh, this time we're doing uh, leg quarters again. And I also got that pie that I'm going to do in the cast iron skillet. I'll try to give you a little overview of what I'm doing with that. And uh, we'll, we'll get that done. It, it's really a treat done on the smoker. Uh, I've got the pit loaded with the pecan pellets and the royal oak lump. The royal oak lump works really good. I've had that little uh, expanded metal in the bottom there, so it works good. So now uh, the weather was not cooperating, but definitely slacked off a lot now. So let's see what we can do. It's got a little striker on the back, and it took me a couple, it's just like a match, so kind of takes a minute. So I think I got it going. You do have to kind of balance it on the rail. And yeah, I had to break it. Just gonna back it off about halfway and break it, try not to knock it off the rail. I'm just going to double it up. Slide it all the way in. Alright, I think we're good, so we're going to go turn the fan on. Uh, this time I'm doing leg quarters, like I said. And the last time I did, a, I think it was at 350. Way too hot for this unit. I'm going to lower that way down, uh, probably 275 try to get a good smoke flavor. That was one of the things that I was missing. All right, so that's lit. It does have a little bit of a petroleum smell. We're gonna go ahead and fire up the other side. All right, got the controller set at 275. Current temp is 73. One thing that I have been doing is putting a piece of foil right here. I forgot to go to grab one, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it up for now. And I'm gonna come back. That's just gonna help preserve. I mean, it's just it's cheap insurance just to kind of preserve this top part. Uh, let me go ahead and open this up. Yeah, don't forget to take these up. All right, there's a little kill switch, so it turned off. Get any remnants of charcoal out, so you get a good seal here back up and running. I'm going to point out this thing. Uh, we'll let it cycle through. Uh, 311 degrees on the smoker here. That's the thermocouple. And then you see error 5. So I haven't even read the manual on this, but at 300 degrees it shows an error on the meat probe. So when you get above 300 degrees, if you just have the probe hanging inside there, you're going to get an error and you know you're going to think there's something wrong but there's really nothing wrong it's just i guess it's just telling you that your probe fell out of the meat i, don't, I guess that's what their idea was on this so to go check it out probably gives you an alarm if you use the app i wasn't able to hook the bluetooth up to my phone i didn't really try real hard uh, but i did try to sync it probably half a dozen times no success there let's throw this chicken on all right, so we got 10 pounds of chicken, and I've just got it seasoned with some Paul Prudhomme's poultry magic. And a little bit of garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash. I just really like that. Also got just a little bit of Italian dressing on there. 
Get ready. And throw these on. Oh, it fills them. Hang on, throw our probe in. If you want to put the probe in, it's kind of nice to have that information. All right, we're at the temperature set point is 300. Uh, meat probe is at 47, and we're counting up. So we're going to leave it on here. Uh, now it's at 309. Uh, I was going to cook a little bit slower, but I'm running a little behind. So we'll just uh, probably cook it at 300. Last time I did it at 350, it was too high. Uh, I think 300 is going to work out pretty good. Alright, we've uh, got an hour and 15 minutes on this chicken. I had it started at 300, lowered it down to 275 uh, once I flipped it. At about 45 minutes, usually like to do about 30 minutes on each side, then baste it. Do like another 10 minutes or so. Uh, but doing apple pie, so we got our Jack Miller sauce here. We're ready to baste it and let it sit a little bit longer, and then get going. So that chicken is—it's looking really good. Just try to get this on. We've got the sauce, about 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and flip these over. Sauce the other side. Two pieces I didn't get sauce on, but a couple of these are pretty dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and move them up. A little upper rack here. All right, let's get some more sauce. All right, I think we're getting real close on the chicken. Uh, probably would have pulled it off if it had just been not using the thermostat. But, uh, got our sauce here. Set this over. So the one particular piece that I've got the probe stuck in is showing 150. We're kind of ready to get going. So I'm just going to take my secondary probe and check some other pieces. Okay, so I did just crank the smoker up to 350. Um, just trying to go ahead and finish this chicken off because we're ready. Um, so I needed, probably should have had it on for two hours to get that temperature right at 275. So it just adds that time, but it also increases the smoke flavor. So it looks like these pieces on the top, they're running 164, 165, pretty much done up there on the top. And we're going to continue to cook in the pan. So. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull the top pieces off. That's the biggest one out of the top. This. All right, so I went ahead while I was trying to finish off that chicken and raise the temperature up to 425. So it's coming on. Uh, we're at 402 right now. I'm going to let it heat up and then I'm going to just going to clean the grill and get all the chicken 
uh, leftovers off 